secure and protect your email with DKIM, also known as Domain Keys Identified Mail. My name is Carlos, and in today's video, I will show you how to configure DKIM in your Microsoft 365 email service. By the way, starting February 2024, Google and Yahoo are requiring that all bulk senders must configure this security feature in order to reach their free email accounts. DKIM is an email authentication method that will help your emails be identified as legit. Some email providers will reject your emails if DKIM is not configured for your domain. In a similar way, it will also happen when your domain missed the SPF record, which is another mechanism to identify your emails are coming from a trusted source. In case you want to learn about the SPF, here is a video that explains how it works. Now, before explaining how to set up your DKIM for your domain in Microsoft 365, let's review how it works. DKIM adds a key or digital fingerprint to your emails. This is an encrypted code that can only be decrypted by another code that is public in your DNSs. Think of it as a secret handshake between your email and the receiving mail server. When you set up DKIM for your domain, you generate a pair of cryptographic keys, one private and one public. The private key stays with your email server and is used to create the DKIM signature for each outgoing message. The public key is published in your DNSs, so everyone can see it. When you send an email, the receiving server gets your message with a DKIM signature in the header. This is the moment when the receiving servers check your email. It looks for the public key that has been published in your DNSs and uses to decrypt the signature. If everything's matched up, the email passes the DKIM verification. The way how you set up DKIM for your domain may vary depending on your email provider. In this particular case, I will show you how to configure it if your email service works on Microsoft 365. On the left, we will find the admin icon. By the way, you need to have assigned the admin role in order to access the admin panel. Within the admin panel, we need to click on Show All. And if we scroll down, we'll find Security. This will give us access to the Microsoft Defender Admin Center. On the left, we will find the menu. And under Email and Collaboration, we will need to find Policies and Rules. On the right, we will need to click on Thread Policies. Scrolling down, under Rules, we will find Email Authentication Settings. Within Email Authentication Settings, we will find this tab, DKIM. Here, we will find the different domains that we have added to our subscription. In our case, we have two domain names, itbe.cloud, which is our primary domain name, and we have an additional domain name, which is itbe.xyz. We also find this domain, which is the default domain that is set up when we configure Microsoft 365 for the first time. DKIM is an authentication mechanism that we need to configure per domain. As an example, we are going to configure DKIM for this domain name, our primary domain, which is itb.cloud. We click on it. On the right, we will see no DKIM keys saved for this domain. And here is where Microsoft will create the DKIM records or keys for our domain name. So at the bottom, we will click on Create DKIM keys. So Microsoft has created a couple of C names or canonical names that we need to add to our DNS records. We find the C names right here. This is one of the C names and here is another one. For some providers, it could be a TXT record instead of C names. The C name has two parts. One is the host name, which is this value that we find here. And then we have the value or the place where the C name is pointing to. And it is the value that we have to enter in our DNS records. The same will happen for the second C name. This is the host name, and we have here the value of the second record. So we will start with the first one. I will copy this value, and then I will have to go to my DNS provider, 
For this domain, we are using Cloudflare. Depending on your domain, it could be a cPanel or maybe the place where you register your domain name. In my case, it's Cloudflare. I have already Cloudflare here in a different tab. And we find here the DNS record for my domain name, itb.cloud. If I scroll down a little bit, I will find all the DNS records for this domain name. Now, if I want to add a new record, I need to click here, add a record. By the way, this process will be very similar regardless of the DNS provider. So we need to select the type of record. As we said before, it is going to be a C name or canonical name. Under name or host, we have to paste the first value that we copied. And then I will go back to the admin center and we'll copy the value where this C name should be pointing to. Go back to Cloudflare and then paste the value here. For this case, I'm going to disable the proxy. By the way, this is only available with a few DNS providers. Then I click on Save. Our first C name has been added. Let's create the second one. I go back to the admin panel. I copy the host name, go back to Cloudflare and click on Add Record for the second C name. Select C name, paste the host name here and now go back to the admin panel. Copy this value and go back to Cloudflare and paste it here. I'm going to disable the proxy as well and then click on Save. Now I have created the two CNAME records and they are propagating. The propagation could take a while, so I will need to go back to the admin center. Now I can close here. After waiting for propagation, I will be able to enable DKIM. I will have here sign messages for this domain with DKIM signatures. If I click here, I will enable it. Microsoft has looked for the record but couldn't find it yet. So I get this error. This is probably for propagation. And I can wait and try to enable it again. So I will click on OK. After having been waiting for about half an hour, I'm going to try it again. And I will try to enable it. In case you want to verify the propagation, you can use some tools that allow you to check this. Let me show you how to do it. First, I'm going to copy the value of one of the C names that we created. I copy this part of the record and I will use a tool called whatsmydns.net. Here, I will select the type of record that I want to check, C name. Here, I will paste the record and I need to complete it with the domain name. So the C name that I want to check is the value that I copy plus dot itb dot cloud. I mean, I have to add the domain name at the end of the record. Then I click on search. After the record is propagated, the result should be the value that we added in our DNS manager. I mean, where we created the C name. And I can see here, in most of the places, the propagation is almost complete. So hopefully, I should be able to verify it within the Microsoft Admin Center. Let's access it again. And I click here to enable it. Now I got this message. Security, it may take several minutes to synchronize the status change. Somehow it means that Microsoft has been able to read the C names that we added. So we can click on OK. And DKIM is now enabled for our domain name. From this moment, when we send an email using this domain name, Microsoft will add a digital signature to every email that we send. And the receiving mail server we'll be able to verify the digital signature. We can click on closed and there's nothing else that we need to do. DKIM is already set up. DKIM helps prevent email spoofing, where scammers forge the sender address to trick recipients. It also ensures messages integrity, meaning the content hasn't been altered in transit. DKIM often works alongside all the email authentication protocols like SPF, for added security. Implementing DKIM improves email deliverability and protects your email reputation. It also builds trust with recipients who receive your emails. Well, this is how DKIM works. 
and how it should be configured in Microsoft 365. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. I am Carlos and I hope to see you next time. Stay secure, stay tech savvy.